So, I will just make sure I take it down. I will take it down because here is going to be sewn to the waist. So, I want just the half inch to sew the clothes. So, I will take it down to the half inches. So, I want this place to be a kind of curve. So, I can just make it a kind of curve. to blend it so after that the next thing is for me to cut it out but before I cut it out I need to notch my dart and my my side dart and the waist dart so to get the waist dart the waist of my client is 36. Half of 36 is four and a half plus half inches. So my waist that will be on five inches. So from the sensor line that I drew, I'm taking five inches upward. So then from the shoulder to the bust line, to the bust point of my client is 13 inches. And the dart will be one inch lower than the lower to the boss point so i will be deducting 13 inches from what i'm having here or 14 inches sorry from what i'm having here that is 19 minus 14 inches so my that length will be five inches so this is where my dart will stop then i can take the six inch so that i'll be able to draw out the boss that so this is my bust point here at this six inches so at this six inches i will also be going to the side by one inch then after that i will come to this side and i will find the center of whatever i'm having here i'm having 10 here the center is five so at this five i will be taking i'll be sharing the two inches that i deducted from the back that is one inches to this side and one inches to this side. So making the two inches, then I'll draw to the point I made here. So this will be my side that. And yeah, I'll be taking half half inch by the time I'm sewing for my side that for my wizard so i'm going to notch this place and to reduce the bucket i'm going to cut out one inch so that it will remain the half inch that i will use to join it so to start with i'll first cut on this side i said i will cut out the one inch from these two inch because I don't want any bulk here. So I'll remove the triangle like so this will be like this while I have this like this. So the nice thing let me just align so now the next thing is to take it to the machine. First, I will join the darts. First, I will join the side darts first. After joining the side darts, then I will place the shoulder line on the shoulder line. So this is what I'll be having. And I will join it like so and like so. Then I will use, I will take the dart afterward. So for the lower part, I have finished any the hem and I run stitches through the hem. Sorry, 
I have run stitches through the hem. And on the waist side, I run a loose stitch. I have notched the first side. I find the middle, I notch the middle. Then I fold it again and I notch so that I'll be able to share it equally on the dress. And I've run a loose stitch on it. So the next thing now is I'll be pulling the gathers. I'll pull the gathers like so. So after pulling the gathers, I'm going to make sure that I release it to the length I want and fix it to the top or to the upper part. So this is what I have now. I hope we can see it. I hope we can see it. This is how it looks. So I'm done with this. I'll just fix this. I will just fix this with the top. This is the upper part. I've taken the darts, joined the side and the sleeve, just as I said, and I've run stitches through all the hem. I overlock and run stitches. I've also run stitches, overlock the sleeve and run stitches through the hand hole. So the next thing I'm going to do now is I'm going to join the, this lower part to the waist to form my gown. I will put the gathers to make that make sure that it fits. Notching the aligning the notch that I have here. This is this will go to the side because it's going to have a zipper at the side. So I will place this to the side and hold it down with my pin. Then I will tuck this inside like this and look for the center notch. I'm having four notches on it because I don't want one side to be fuller than the other. I want the gathers to be shared equally. So I've notched the dress. So this is the second notch. I will be placing the second notch on the center notch. I will also hold it down with a pin. Then the next it will be the middle notch. So this is a middle notch. It will go to this side and I will hold it down with a pin. And lastly, the last notch. So this is the last notch. It will go to the side. And I will also hold it down with my pin. So after that, I will be adjusting the gathers while I sew round. So to cut the sleeve, I'll be cutting the sleeve together. I'm having the sleeve circumference is 16 and a half. <coughs> the sleeve circumference is 16 and a half. So I'll be folding the sleeve length. I'll be taking is I'll take eight inches for my sleeve length. Then I will add one inches seam allowance for the elastic that I'll be running through it. Then after that, the sleeve, the width of the sleeve, I also have gathers on the sleeve. The elastic is going to put the gathers together. So for that, I'm going to take, you can do 16, your circumference times two, you can take your circumference times three, depending on the material you're having. But for the materials I'm having here, I'll be taking like 35, that is my circumference times two and plus some additional inches. I can use that for my seam allowance. So, at least for my fabrics to be more. That's how far the fabrics can go. So I'll just fold it this way. I'm trying to have a smooth rectangle. And after that, so this will go for each sleeve. I'll be pulling this to make the space for the elastic. I'll be sewing this down to create loop for the elastic. Then I will just run stitches through the hem 
and then join it to the main clothes by the time I'm through. Now for the belt. To take the belt measurement, you can use times two of your waist depending on how long you want your belt to be. This is the remaining fabrics I'm having, so I'll be joining the belt. Yes, I'll be joining the belt. And for the belt, I'll be taking, I'll be folding my fabrics. I'll be taking nine inches. So in fold, it will be nine, four and a half inches in fold. So in fold, I will have four and a half inches. So because I want the belt to be a kind of white. And my fabric is in school already. So after cutting my seam, I can measure it to know the length of my belt. So this is 27. So 27 multiplied by 2, I have 54. And the waist of my client is 36 and a half. So it's still okay for my belt. I can still use it for the belt without joining it together, since that is what the cloth can contain. So for the belts, I'm going to run my stitch down this way first, then I'll be back. So for the belt, I've sewn this place down. I run stitches down. And after that, I want it to have a triangle end. So I'm going to open it up like this. Then I'll open the other side up as well. Then the plain side goes to the plain side while the seam side is out. So I'll put, I mark up to like three inches. Yeah. And I will draw my triangle. So after drawing the triangle, I will cut it out. So I'm going to sew one end down. I will sew one end down like this. Then this other end, I will sew it and leave about one inches to turn it out. That is all about the belt. Then for the sleeve, this is the sleeve. I have run stitches around the hem of the sleeve and also make a casing for my elastic. I'll be using 9 inches elastic. I'm using the half inches elastic and the length is... So I'll be tucking in the elastic with a safety pin. I will hold my elastic with a pin. Then I'll use a clip. You can use anything to hold this. To hold it at, the, at one hand. So. so, when it comes out at the other hand, I'll remove my pin and use another clip to hold it. I'm going to be taking it to the sewing machine like this way. I will sew it down, I'll run stitches across it this way and run stitches across it this way. Then, I will turn it this way, right side on top, then I'll bring this side to this side, right side to right side. And I will close it at this end and join this place to the sleeve of the blouse. So this is the top. So actually, I've forgotten that I'll be joining a sleeve. It's not a total uh, sleeveless. I've forgotten that, so I'm going to lose this sleeve back. And I will be measuring four inches from the sleeve here. I will measure four inches down, like so. So I'll measure four inches down. So this sleeve, I will be joining here, right side to right side. From these four inches, I will just join it down to this side. I will run the stitch down, then turn it to the other side also, and put, place it like this. And also run the stitch down at the same four inches. And I will show us how it looks. This is the outcome of our gown. I hope we can see it so beautiful and lovely. Thank you for viewing. Please subscribe, 
like and share if the video has been helpful thank you love you see you in my next video